always have to hold for that last honk. It's very, 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 very critical. So, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Sorry I got on late. The day job has kept me busy. And, as you might expect, very busy. So, I was only just about uh, 30 minutes ago uh, freed from the time to do work. I then ate a meal and then showered and then sat down in this seat. So, now... The fun time begins. We're going to be playing one of my favorite games of all time, which is Sins of a Solar Empire. Sins of a Solar Empire is a fantastic fucking game, which for no reason whatsoever, for no reason whatsoever, got a magnificent, and I do mean a magnificent, 64-bit uh, upgrade so it would run on uh, more modern processors. They did that like 10 years after they came out with the game for no reason. They just good... Good guy devs. Just good good guy devs being good guys. And I'm massively happy with that. So, I'm going to tell you guys that it's kind of interesting. Thank you for your upvotes if you wish, but they are not required. Uh, not that they will really help. Uh, YouTube these days has certainly made certain that uh, you're going to get throttled. So even the big boys are complaining about it. I ain't going to focus on it. I got shit to do. Like blow up space. So uh, thank you for your upvotes. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for even finding the channel. It does make a difference. Ooh, there's the game sound. Let me get into the options. Because I'm pretty certain that this is not set up for a monitor this big because this game is from a billion years ago. And I need to turn the music volume down just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I need to get some of these other sound effects down a little bit. Just a little bit. And there we go. Now space sounds appropriately spacey. Okay, maybe I can make space a little spacier. One second. Let me get the sound up. I know there's no visual yet. I know there's no visual yet. One moment. Stand by. Stand by. We are now going to visual. <gasps> Sins of a Solar Empire. I hope this game is around forever. If I had to choose five games to play forever, this would be one of them. So I'm going to play single player because multiplayer is bonkers and uh, I haven't played it in a while. We're going to play on, let's see large maps let's see which one are we gonna do which one are we gonna do we're gonna blow up space there's a lot of competitive maps uh i know some of them quite well and i'm trying to figure out which one i want to use Ooh, it's space time let's see stars no 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 huge multi-competitive there we go uh, let's do huge ring one star 99 planets That sounds fun Yeah, all right, let's do that And let's play and I will be let's see which of these little things I'm gonna be I think that's uh, that looks like a money and I'll go with a far left one because that's darker to me There we go, and I'm going to be the uh, TEC which is an economic trade union conjoined to make space less difficult for money. And Sins is a very good game. So let's go ahead, 10 different teams. Everyone can do whatever they want. All right. So let's have some fun and let's make space ours. Now, unlike Stellaris, What's really neat is um, your starting scout frigates begin with this ability where if you tell them to go out into space, they'll just do it. And you don't have to tell them to keep going and finding stuff. They'll just, they'll just keep doing it. They're just, they're just doing it. Okay, Goat tells me I am blood red. Good to know. Good to know. Thanks, Goat. So I'm sending my little scout frigates out. And again, this game is amazing. This game is, is absolutely amazing. Now, I need some help, people. I need some help. We are a conglomerated trade union. We are Cargonia. We are the Cargonian Freight Handlers Union. And we control this planet, our humble empire. 
begins here with this planet. Now, the name of the planet's Makino. I'm not feeling it. What are you guys thinking? And yes, we're pretty much militarized Costco. We're reasonable. You like our hot dogs, but you know we're gonna kill you. So let's see. Oh, they changed that in Stellaris. I see. They, they finally came to their senses. Let me choose a ship. Uh, let me think what I want here. I'm going to go with the battleship because I'm not dumb. Name it Costco. That's a good name for a planet, actually. All right. You know what? Planet Costco. All right. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. All right. Planet Costco. That's our headquarters. All right, so we we have we have Planet Costco. We're building our first capital ship. Cargonia is building a capital ship, which is what it does. And uh, space is apparently very dark right now, but uh, yeah, we're doing all right. Looks like we got some interesting things around us, and uh, I have some questions for Chad. I'm not really a scientist per se. Not really a... Costco Prime. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so here's, here's my question. How many planets do you think you could put in a solar system before it was too much? Like, how many Earth-sized planets are bigger? I'm not talking planetoids. I'm not talking, like, little... Little shitty planet things that nobody cares about. I, I'm talking about proper big boy rocks. Like, how, how many do you think? Because there's 90 in this system. This game's bonkers, but it's fun. Fifteen, says Brian Henry. Sixty, says Dick Johnson. He's like, I'm Dick Johnson, and I support this message. <laughs> It sounds like some guy like, I'm sorry, Dick Johnson, I'm not meaning to make fun of you, but it does sound like somebody's uh, car salesman persona. I'm Dick Johnson. Do you find your car dragging on the ground? Not at Dick Johnson's. <laughs> I'm a simple man. All right, so here, here what we're going to do. And I know the Dinov is technically better, but I, I like the battleship. It looks like the Aliens battleship. Well, it's not a battleship in Aliens. It's it's a Conestoga class. We're not going to get into that. That's a different universe. I, I only occasionally dabble there. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Thank you, Scouts. Thank you for doing your job. Continue to do it or I will have you whipped. I mean, good work, employees. So now that we've got this battleship, it's time for us to go around and apply what the English call colonialization, or as I like to call it, blowing stuff up. So we're going to go over to this other asteroid and remind people what having a navy is like. And since they don't have much of one, I think we're just going to have their stuff. So the Tedian Illustria. Good day, Commander. Pretty cool name. Sounds like something on, you'd find, like, written in an Arthurian legend, like, Ah, Illustria! All right, so here we go. We're just going to go ahead and send our uh, battleship up there. The beating shall continue until morale improves. It is time for some acquisitions. It is indeed. Um... So I, I know that we can specialize our homeworld, which is kind of cool. Uh, we're going to specialize our homeworld into being like just a mass population Good planet. Day, it's just going to be this giant hive where everyone has constant pizza parties. It's, it's going to be a self-consumptive society. Ah, yes, it's time for a membership drive to Costco. We, yeah, we just need to have some of their stuff. And as you can see, uh, our, our local customer service teams are ensuring that they are in the customer service submission position. And uh, we are beaming to them directly our communications and wishes. And, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it, it seems like they're having a oopsie doodle. Now, that light frigate they brought over here is... Oh, looks like we harvested enough human souls to level up. 
Now we get a fighter squadron. Isn't that neat? And have I played Dungeon Keeper? Sir, I have lost a good five years of my life to Bullfrog Games alone. Bullfrog Games alone. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's that Siege Frigate, which is not going to help them here. I'm just going to beat the brakes off that guy. And I'm just going to let my uh, pretty cool homeworld, that is pretty above average in many ways. Uh, see, my guy's happy. He's chill. Everyone else very serious. Glowy eyes. You know, unhappy. That guy's just unhappy. I don't know what he is. But, you know, everyone else is just, you know, they got their uh, copium flowing. And me? I'm unbothered. So we're just going to keep doing our thing. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. We're just going to hang out and have a good time. We're also going to pursue the development of advanced weapons prototypes because I hate people. And that's what we're going to need. We're going to need to invest a lot into R&D. We're going to need to invest a shitload into zoning laws. We're going to have to blow up every Starbucks. Okay, guys, you're going to have to help me here. As, as a corporate entity with semi-sovereign control over large parts of the GDP slowly delivering what sorts of massive and strange messages through its various appendages, I, I'm wondering, uh... How do we sell the destruction of Starbucks as a concept in order to fund the GDP of the military-industrial complex? How are we going to sell this the, to the public as these commonly accepted and desired goods fade away? I mean, it's for their own good. It's not that good coffee, but beyond that. I mean, I suppose we could just give him a free Costco membership or something, you know? Which is all reasonable. Um, so I'm going to not ever use diplomacy because that doesn't work. I, I'm i not a believer in playing a space shooty bang bang game to talk to people. Um, <laughs> surprise. All right, so that planet's been pacified. This planet's got some frigates that could be dangerous. This one less much because it's a dwarf planet. So we're going to go take that next because we are a bunch of cowards. And like a proper cowardly navy, we're going to say things are a lot more dangerous than they are and run from them. So we're, we're going to be like, they had two ships. And it's like, you, you, okay. All right, need to get some of this early R&D done. It's going to cost an ocean. I know. I know. Two words. New Coke. That's pretty rough. A magnetic storm is heading toward an undiscovered world. Well, how the fuck would I know? They're like, somewhere out there in space, something's moving around. And I'm like, okay. Where? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, science. Can you be more precise? Uh-uh. Space big. Which I guess is fair. I mean, space is fucking huge. I'm, I'm not going to use diplomacy when I was given perfectly good nuclear weapons. The game is Sins of a Solar Empire, not Happy Hug Foundation. It's, it's, it's a game based upon certain excesses of violence, not predicated upon the rare success of diplomacy. Research complete. It's a different kind of game. The yardstick is war, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the shit out of it. All right, so here's the question. Where did my little colony guy go? Did I break him? Or did I... Yeah, I forgot to build one. That's right. Anyways, let's go ahead and build one of these. And then I'm going to build about five more of these and send them out into space. Nuclear weapons are technically diplomacy. I mean, all right. There's a lot of diverging opinions on this sort of stuff, but I'll keep it simple. Um... Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons are, in the realistic sense, Scouts have found a colonizable planet. when you acquire nuclear weapons, 
as a nation. I'll find it. It's like getting invited to the to know? big person's table at Thanksgiving. You know, before that, you were the kid, and you had to sit at the kid's table. But once you have nuclear weapons, you're at the big boys' club, you know. And you sit at the big boys' table, and there's a lot of prestige and more turkey there. But if you misbehave, the ass beatings are a lot more serious. And food fights tend to escalate. It's an interesting balance of things. However, in space, nukes are kind of boring. They're tiny and... They're, they're not as, you know, cool. It's, it's kind of different. So I'm sending my scout teams out to go find uh, additional ahead. resources, as you might expect, for our uh, burgeoning fleet requirements. As we can see, uh, here we are negotiating for the temporary lease of a RSO facility uh, located on this dwarf planet. As it seems, the uh, negotiations are proceeding quite well and they're starting to see the light. It looks like they brought in a negotiation partner, and I'm not sure how that's going to play out for them. I think this one's going to end with a bang. So what we're going to do is just go over here. Oh, yeah. All right, so we need to build a shipyard. I think that dwarf planet's probably going to be where I do it. And, yes, this is vanilla. It's going to be pretty bad when the Titans hit, I know. So we're going to take this asteroid belt over. And yeah, and this is also going to be one of our industrial planets. Because when you're in space, we can go find rocks. We're also going to build some civil infrastructure so people can have air all the time, not just like some of the time. I am a generous overlord. I just want you to know that. I'm a very generous overlord. I believe in absolutely, just absolutely making sure that you have as much air as I think you need. Just is as much air as I think you need. So, Hill Cargonia, miners don't die. And the sex bots are back. One of the prominent features of YouTube, uh, you know, when, when asked about what they can improve about YouTube, uh, every YouTuber I know said, please make the sex bots go away. And please fix many of the uh, recurring issues with people not seeing us go live. Um... And their response was, yes, 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 of course, yes, we hear you. Capital, capital, of course, yes, yes, yes. YouTube shorts. And you're like, well, that doesn't seem to address the issue at all. And they're like, ah, but you can make shorts. And I'm like, are you are you just trying to copy TikTok but late? And they're like, no, no, we're copying Vine, which is dead. So it, it's kind of weird. Um... It's bonkers rules. I don't know why and how, but they certainly seem to like it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to destroy this shipyard because this planet is going to be chock full of nothing but the most wonderful, most wonderful civil centers and pools and also money. It's going to be great. The second planet is not yet named. Um, I'm holding an auction. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what you guys come up with. You know what I mean. And Lenore makes a good point. I mean, we should steal we should steal air from other planets that haven't decided to defend it as much. You know. Oh no, an impending pirate raid. You know, it'd be crazy as if someone put like money on this other guy, and oh no, the pirates now suddenly have a viable target. Anyways, where was I? Um, uh, oh man, running an empire is so busy. It's hard to figure out who to pay off to kill who. It really takes it out of you, you know. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to start putting up some uh, culture weapons here to fuck people up. I need to start getting people to love Cargonia. I need them to love it more than my people do. Planet poop knife, huh? That's interesting. Found a 
All right, so the Navy over here has managed to live, which is amazing. So we're going to send them over here because uh, it, often enough I have a Navy that just dies. So we're going to also put in um, rail guns. Structure complete. Because uh, trust but verify. Body jump coordinates. Free trade oxygen. You know, it, it conflict free oxygen. That's that's how you know it's it's a Cargonia product. So I'm going to put some real guns around this uh, little guy here just to make up a difference for space being full of assholes. Found a and then the music got serious. For no real reason. All right, so let's go ahead. And where's that asshole? You! Get over there and colonize that. Structure complete. Planet Atomic Burrito Farts. I agree. Oh no. Atomic Burrito Farts. ABF. I mean, you know what? No. No. I'm just gonna name it Planet Farts. Because that will be a punishment. That will be a punishment. If you can't hack it on the nice planet, I'll send you to farts. You want to go to farts? They mine poop there. That's what you'll tell your kids if they don't behave. You know? Structure complete. What about I can't believe it's not oxygen? You know? Just... Structure complete. I, I, I think that, that that would be... That would be great. It's just... Yeah. Oxygen light. From the makers of oxygen. So it appears there is some sort of actual flotilla over here, so I may need to begin rapidly investing in various technologies to make sure my military actually works. Ah, yes. Hull reinforcement, also known as space tape. You've seen me use this in Kerbal. It's rather effective. Uh, it holds everything together. So I'm going to put some basic research into uh, lasers and shit, because lasers are fucking awesome. Research complete. Come on, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And click. Good. So I'm hoping I have to watch this guy while he uh, has this little fight here. Oops, only carbon monoxide. Man, they're really laying into me. Ooh, planet supply chain. I like that one. So far, the shields are holding from their pathetic attempts to resist my, you know, conversion of their local economy to mine. But whatever, hostile takeovers always generate some drama. All right, here we go. We're gonna blow stuff up. It's gonna be good. And my scouts are out there having a good time. And I know I need Kodiaks. I know, I know, I know, I know. They're great. They just destroy things and it's fantastic. They are expensive, though. It seems their LRM frigates are not doing the business. Ready for battle. I love this music because it reminds me of somebody trying to do a live Research rendition complete. of something someone is describing, but just on one keyboard. It's, it's very earnest, but simple. And the future was paved with the intentions of the golden era. You see what I mean? It just... It's interesting. But it definitely feels like a Sierra game. So, so far, our Navy's out here smashing people. His shields are down to about half. Under half right now, but it looks like we're about to crack these guys. Looks like their pathetic flak gang is no match for my power. 
And we can put more money into defense. Research complete. And metal. Found a colonizable planet. This will make me money. We're going to put money into orbital commerce. We are going to make all the money. And hey, 420 viewers. Do I have 69 up likes? Is it really cool? Up likes. Wow. Up likes. From the makers of... That sounds like something YouTube would do with like the double plus ungood newspeak. They'd be like, up likes. And you're like, well, what happened to up votes? And they're like, we canceled them. Up likes are the only thing now. And you're like, uh, oh. Oh, that doesn't sound the same at all. And you're like, up likes cost $4 to add on to a video. Um... Bring back upvotes, please. Please. Research complete. Oh, man. So we're slowly uh, smashing through the defenses of our local cluster of uh, worlds here. It's going to be good. <laughs> Up likes. Only corporations can vote, but you can vote in a corporation if you buy a share. It's like, uh, I could honestly see that. I ain't dead yet. I'm just hanging out. Wow, I thought I sounded like shit. I always forgot how bad the Vasari sounded. They sound like I feel. <laughs> Don't forget to up like submit notation. So my goal here is to create a vastly ridiculous pervasive economy. Um, and, and, and then to just destroy people with the sheer power of tyrannical capitalism as this faction is designed to do, which is fantastic. Um, cause often in games, when you play an industrially based faction, it feels empty and boring. And in this game, I always felt the theme was there and I enjoyed it. So now is time to break things and... I need to make sure that, yes, there we go, Orbital Commerce. One fun thing I'll point out about this game is you actually have uh, two simultaneous research trees running because you have military and civil research. Yeah, I suppose we could take some planets if we wanted. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Good times. Let's see, orbital commerce, mm, time to build stations and make money. I know, I know, in all things, Space Station 13, right? Anyways, Space Station 13 time. Complete. This is good. We need to break things. So, as we will find out, the markets are a weapon. And this faction has this wonderful ability to tap into the incredible world of defense offsets and to pervasively exploit the economy which I'm going to do in order to destroy my enemies with money structure complete now I have to be careful and give my navy time to actually Good lick day, its commander. wounds between battles and I have to make sure not to expand too quickly because there is actually an overhead here. So <laughs> that's going to be bad. This rock ball, I will name you Greenland. There's work to be done. Are you interested? Just I I want people Research to get completed. lost. So once we have orbital commerce done, it will be the money time. You know, I wonder. I wonder, chat. I do wonder. You very few. What? In fact. What in fact is the gravity of something like a dwarf planet, like Ceres? What would it be? It can't be much. And when I say we very few, I mean, that's good. I get overwhelmed by big numbers. Seeing some numbers under like 500 is actually nice because I can read what you guys are saying and it doesn't spook me so much. So, appreciate it. If that makes you feel good. Scouts if not, I mean, I'm sorry, planet. but I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, less than Earth depends on its core. 
And there's a bit of delay, but I'm sure it can't be much. Scouts have found a colonizer it's got to be low. Make baseball really cool. Seems like a lot of people have a different answer when it comes down to series. Uh, I'm playing Rebellion. Research complete. Yes, we're playing the TEC, Texas Economic Conglomerate. Well said, Ben. Thank you. So I'm going to slowly build out my wonderful, happy little uh, series of labs and trade ports because I'm just going to sit in the back and mind my own business and uh, become slowly a nuisance upon intergalactic commerce. Research complete. Because they told me not all the space More could be mined needed. and that nuclear weapons uh, were a limited access right. And I disagree because I believe in Maslow's hierarchy of mutually assured defense. So... We're going to have nuclear weapons, and they're not going to stop us. We are going to be an annoying intergalactic conglomerate that has nuclear weapons. And, should they wish to test our metal, we will remind them that a logistics corporation is more than capable of shipping anything of any size to any location at any time we wish. So it'll be fun. We're going to need them labs, I know. For science! I'm trying to slowly wait until I can make shit a little bit less expensive, though. I know that's nickel and diming, but it does add up quick. Alright. In Sins is a game that is awesome to still play in multiplayer. Still decent. There's a little bit of time dilation. There's some slowdown. Don't play 60 <laughs> planet maps. Play like... 12 planet maps with four people and it gets really wild they're about 90 Structure minute games complete. at that size but they're really fun they're fantastic Research complete. all right and we're slowly getting our research done we're slowly upping our number of labs we've slowly got trade ports going trade ships are flowing commerce is flowing think of the might of the cargonian empire Think of the glory that will be sung as we enjoy ginger snaps at whole market prices. Think of the songs they will sing of how cheap and comfortable our socks are, made of free trade wool. Yes, our mighty economic conglomerate has many joys. Oh, an impending pirate raid. One moment. Defense Department, a.k.a. The Bank... Oh no, it appears that the pirates have found a new target. Anyways, where was I on my grandstanding? See, you know, it's it's just about the small things in life. The really. Empire has become more profitable. <laughs> He's to stop with the bounty already. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. The pain has only begun, my friend. The pain has only begun. So what we're going to do now is we're going to specialize heavy in industry, which is going to allow us to strip mine this planet, and we're going to turn all of that into wonderful parking spaces. Jump coordinates. It's about swagger. By the way, just wanted to uh, let you guys know, let you guys know, uh, the Magistrato Mundanus, I just put out a new episode. Mike gave it to me. The guys have been putting these out. They've been doing a lot of good work. And uh, guess what? Episode 8, The Foot Patrol, is out. And that's the one that everyone was very uncomfortable about because of uh, all the crazy shit that happened. This is the turning point in the game where it gets really crazy. And uh, yeah, that's on the podcast now. Um, we're going to get to episode 10 before we go back to normal podcast episodes for a little bit before we finish the Magistrato Mundanus. So, and I, I've been seeing the shit posts you guys have been making, and that is some of the most awesome shit. Just, you know, when, when you have imposter syndrome and you have a lot of doubts about the shit you do, when people are like, hey, I made this really dank, weird meme of this thing you did because it made me laugh. It's it's really nice to see that shit. So I appreciate it. 
I just wanted to remark that it is nice. Our fleet is under attack. And I know, Edvin, <laughs> Brandon, Edvin are great. They're fan-fucking-tastic. I love all the factions in this game because they all have something fun. All of the factions have something really neat about them. They all have some cool gimmicks and some neat abilities. It's one of the games where... It's one of the few games where I feel like they excelled in that. It's rare. But yeah. Um, some people have asked already some of the more pressing questions about how the campaign ends. Um, one of them is what happens to Frog. Uh, another is uh, what would Griglack do? Most people are curious as to who lives. I won't say. But it's a good story. It's a very, very stupid but very fun story. Do this quickly if you seek the unity's favor. And I'm very glad to say that everyone Scouts who's found who's found it so planet. far has really enjoyed themselves. So again, I appreciate hearing that. I, I, I don't feel like Scouts this is anything special, planet. but I'm rapidly being reminded of people saying, hey, we really like this. So that's very nice to hear, and it, it's been nice. I know I'm sounding like really emotional over all this shit, but I mean, this is all a struggle. It's because, I mean, Times are fucking hard. We all know it. It's okay. Finished. We'll get by. Hey, assholes! No! No assholes in my space! Me hate! Where's my navy? Day, Where did you come from? What are you doing? You don't even work here! No! That's it. Where is my death rays? I am going to blow these gum motherfuckers. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to show people how to deal with territorial incursions of bunches of little OPV-sized ships. I will not have it. This is my trade. And Angel Angelus, sometimes I do play this modded. I enjoy very much many of the mods for this game. However, the reason I am not streaming... Many of those mods is because almost all of them have copywritten soundtracks, which are baller. They're great fucking soundtracks. Can't have them on YouTube. They just mute everything. So they tell me there's a little present en route for me uh, to Costco Prime. It looks like they're trying to raid me. I don't think this is going to work well because this is a pathetic amount of sad boats, and now I'm going to kill them all. These will be my boats. This gives me a very good opportunity as well to reinforce my defenses early in the game. It's 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 all about doing stupid things in games, guys. Just because the game rules are like, you shouldn't play like this. No, you should definitely always play like that. They're like, you can't outbuild the enemy. I'm like, yes, I can. I'm an industrial power, which means I ascend over time. I don't lose power. Got that almost rhymed. It kind of did. It, it was almost like some Rudy Ray Moore shit, which I love. I, I love, I love Petey Wheatstraw. I, I love all those movies. I've talked about that on the podcast. Things from Detroit that text likes. All right, so what do they got here? No tactical slots available. Uh, wrong. There will be many more tactical slots available, and I'm just going to continue to massively send out fighter wings, and I'm going to force this guy to slowly lose shit in my territory. Because I tire of his meddling now this guy doesn't have anything that can actually do serious oh now that can hello that is a capital ship and I'm gonna kill it Good day, Commander. oh no 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 we're gonna get us a capital ship he is damaged <laughs> I smell blood so yeah there we go there's a Dunov class right there now these are really good ships for early game but he fucked up because he overcommitted, and I'm going for the throat. 
Let's get rolling, boys. I'm going on the offensive now. He overcommitted. It's time to go for the jugular. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. I'm now going to slowly reinforce all the defenses of my planetary holdings because I prefer to actually be fairly compact when it comes to my defenses. Big sprawling empires are asking for trouble. I'm more like the Doge of Venice than I am Zukov. However, uh, here we go. I'm gonna run this guy down, and I'm gonna make sure he can't get out of the planet well. Now, he's coming in to actually start fucking up the planet. He's an asshole. And I'm going to make sure he dies for it. Yes. Blood. He's gonna find that this was a bad time. Now, he's trying to leave, so I'm gonna make sure that I head him off. There we go. Good intercept. Oh, I'm going to chase him down. Structure complete. If I can cripple this guy, I can put him out of the fight. He's like, no, do not want. And I'm like, oh, I want. The game is now. You begun this slap fight. I will end it. All right, so more hangar defense, obviously. He's probably going to break and run. He's warming up to run right now. He's aligning for jump, as you can see. Star bases make this a great deal more difficult. All right. I've chased him out of my territory. I'm going to reinforce my defenses, but I know he came from down here. I know that's his home world down here, so that's going to be my contention point. If he came through there, that means it might not be defended. So I tell you what, I'm going to go down there and build a base and just be an asshole. I'm going to be like, hey, guess what? I saw you like this planet. I also desire this for myself, and I will have a piece of it. And to hold that planet, I need to unlock the Rallo's prototype. So what's everyone's favorite faction in this game? Please tell me you've played this. I will feel very old if you haven't. I'm a delicate soul in that matter. Oh, yes. Yeah. Soon there will be such bounty. Advent Gang is fantastic, though. Okay, he has taken this planet. And I'm going to fight him for it. Because I want him to not be happy. That is important to me right now. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Tex, what game is this? Never played it. Sins of a Solar Empire is a fantastic strategy game. You can be a space dictator. It's a fun game. And a full game of it with friends on a smaller map is maybe two to three hours. And on a small map, 90 minutes. It's good fun space fun. It's decent. And uh, it's one of my favorites. It holds my interest. I can always go back to playing it, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very stupid strategy. I'm going to try to outbuild the enemy by building a series of uh, star bases uh, in orbit of what I want to possess <laughs> and seeing what happens. So I'm starting to make enough money off this to, yes, 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 there we go. Good job. This is starting to make good money. Good, 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 good. And then we'll do that. And we're going to turn our star bases into star sh uh, malls. They're going to be like shopping malls. And uh, we're going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to destroy everything in this guy's orbit. And then I'm going to glass this planet. We're going to, we can't call it glassing the planet, guys. Ah... Uh, what do you think? What what are we what are we gonna Oh wow, someone's already been defeated. So one of the AIs actually ate the other one. That's pretty cool. That's horrifying. So I'm gonna be on my A game from here on out because I'm starting to get scared. And I don't like it. Um choices. Scouts have found 
Give me the planet. money. All right. I have to go back to glassing this planet. What do we call this? Uh, retirement? Oh, ah! We're here to foreclose on the planet. We are here to foreclose on the, um, not the whole planet. We can't call it exterminatus, guys. That's trademarked, okay? So let's add, let, um, uh, heat treating. We're heat treating the planet. Um, aggressively rezoning, uh, redu reducing urban blight. Um, planetary restructuring. There we go. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> This is this is how we do this as a conglomerate. They should have built fallout shelters. Anyways, we're moving on. And um I love the things this game makes me say. Look, we're just gonna do our best. Now I'm I'm gonna build one of these boats. One of these guys here. And we're gonna make a lot of money. Because once I have a star base, you can't get me out. I have won the game as soon as I have star bases. Give me one moment. Uh, yeah, there, I'll buy that. Boop. All right. As soon as I put a star base down, it's time to start making fucking money. People flying through my territory are finding that my Air Force has a full-time occupation with blowing them out of the sky and listening to Los Lobos on repeat. They are not going to win this. Ready? Also, I found a huge complaint with this game, um, was if I kill an enemy frigate, I only get a certain amount of XP. If I kill an enemy battleship, I get more XP. If I kill an enemy, um, super capital or whatever, I get an enormous amount of XP. But I glass a planet... Nothing. You know, I... <laughs> It just really, I think that's AoE grinding at its finest. I don't think there is any more efficient means of AoE grinding than whatever. Also, this planet, this dwarf planet, has a feudal society on it. Anyways, I... Alright, let's just... Let's just go ahead and build a starbase. I, you know, it, yeah, all right, so we're just going to go ahead and, we're just going to go ahead and let this guy do his thing. So my guy's glassing that planet down there. I'm hoping he, he comes up and decides to fight me, um, but he won't because his navy is full of poop and he knows it because he he does not have enough capital ships and he came up and I broke it. So now he has to go get another capital ship and an adult. And in that time, I am going to rezone his planet from orbit. Now no matter what, no matter what, his planet is now depopulated and I'm just bombing everything left. All of these little dots are probably fires and that's fine. That's what he gets. He is a bad neighbor. He threw eggs at my fence and he fucked with my boats. Now, he didn't actually destroy anything, but he scared me. And thus, I have invoked Article 5000 of space law and I'm going to blow him up. And I, I, I asked everybody and they said they didn't care. <laughs> so I'm going to build massive trade facilities at this starbase. And then I'm going to build another massive amount of trade facilities at another starbase. And then I'm going to add another amount of massive star base facilities and eventually um operation space strip mall is pretty much golden i mean i know that sounds stupid a space strip mall but there's worse things so we're going to build uh this space strip mall and i'm going to continue to build nothing but space strip malls and i'm going to have a tiny footprint and then grind forward under the ah, colony ship time to kill it hold on stop glassing that planet i need you to kill those uh people in the colony ship all right shoo uh-uh get out of here you don't work here nope you are not welcome i don't care that you don't have shields today you ain't gonna have any well i mean this is gonna get grim He's trying to run. Ah, yeah, he ran. Anyways, Good back day, to burning the planet down. So, I just... 
You know, colony ships are like possums. They just get under the porch and... Sooner or later, you end up having problems, and, you know, you just got to deal with them. Anyways, I'm going to build myself uh, a bunch of uh, cruisers and then more star bases. <laughs> it's going to be pretty good. Now, once I get a few more key technologies, they won't be able to actually move me out of systems I control without destroying literally everything with my name on it, which is going to be fantastic. Welcome to my place in the world. So, uh, yeah. As soon as they build excellent trade facilities. Trade facilities. This is gonna be great. And yeah, I've been looking at some of your recommendations of Sins of a Solar Empire mods. I, I'm familiar with a good number of them. It's just I'm always worried about playing one of them on stream. You know what I mean? Just because I don't know what's copywritten, what's not. As mods, though, it's like, Jesus Christ, there's so many awesome mods for the original Mountain Blade uh, that I would love to play that I can't just because of the soundtrack. The soundtracks are fantastic, but again, copywritten to all hell. For such failure. So it's, uh, out. it's an issue. Let's see, what are we going to do now? Fleet Logistics. Why would I invest in that? That sounds like money. Anyways, let's go ahead and, oh, see this planet that's almost about to be, like, free soon? I need to process that, as you know. Uh, which will require the use of a new colony ship, looks like. Looks like the old colony ship ate it, or I forgot about it, and it blew up. And that happens, because I'm a forgetful boy, and uh, sometimes things happen. So we're going to go ahead and build a colony frigate, and not worry about any of those other colonists, and just not going to be bothered by that. So we're going to send out our... Uh, our continued uh, marketing Space forces and do our best. I am worried about more pirates, though. I don't like them. I'm in my little corner. I've got some money, but not enough. I need to send out more new of these cruisers. Ah, yes, New Horizons await. Thank you, Milk Toast. Now get yes, down there. All right, you. Well, as soon as I put this thing in orbit, it's yes, it's all ogre. It's going to be bad. Because at that point, planet mine. Bring whatever you want, planet mine. And yeah, the mods for this game are just... Oh, they're incredible. That planet's name is Farts. This planet's name is Greenland. Start thinking of fun planet names, guys. Yeah, that first that first uh, colony ship was just full of interns. Don't worry about it. All right, so. Link yep, I'm just going to sit here and patrol my new planet. Uh, uh, oh, wait. It's a desert planet. It's a desert planet. Come on, guys. Dune is great. Let's Let's have some fun. Did you hear that they are making a Dune MMO? Cool Wahad. It is not. <laughs> I uh I I saw that. And I was like this, this this alarms me. Ooh, Planet Dirt Factory. I like that. Imagine if at the intro of Dune, instead of saying Arrakis, land of sand. Home of the Spice Melange. And he's like, Planet Dirt Factory. Home of magic smoke spice. People like very much. Just use caveman scrambles language, you know? Just have fun. <laughs> I'm not naming this LV426 or any LV number. I've been to too many. I can say that I have under my belt probably six or seven thousand combat drops in the colonial marines on space station 13 server 
I've seen too many LV numbers. I have PTSD from fictional deployments. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that game's a trip. All right, so we're gonna set up our new uh, orbital client tell enforcement facility, and we're gonna just hope that the people get the message, because if they don't, it's gonna get really messy. But I think that they'll get the message, because I'm gonna pave the way with money. Everyone likes money. All right, so I was uh, in the BPL about a month ago. I was in the BPL about a month ago, and uh, I was talking about the time that I went to New Orleans, and I saw a drive through daiquiri stand. And at the drive through daiquiri stand, which was about the size of, like, a Dutch Brothers coffee or whatever, and for daiquiris, I mean slushy plus booze. Um, at the drive through daiquiri stand, uh, there was a concrete barrier around the building. And the concrete barrier around the building had the paint of every vehicle known to man on it. And a few bumpers, tires, sidewall, what have you. <laughs> and so as I mentioned that, one of the guys in the Legion said, ah, signing the guest book. <laughs> uh. So I'm just going to take this planet away from them, and I don't care what they think because it's mine now. And I'm just going to reinforce the uh, anti-vandal uh, uh, protection unit. That I place on the planet, you know. I'm gonna say this though: New Orleans is pretty lit. Everyone there was having a good time. Every, everyone there was like just happy. Like they didn't give a shit. It was fucking boiling hot, and the weather was shitty out. But it was like, hey, you want to get drunk and go eat taffy in the park? And I'm like, yeah, yep. Yeah. It, it's just how it is. It is what it is. Let's see, hangar capacity. Yeah, I'm going to need some hangar capacity to ensure compliance for uh, people trying to get around my trade tariffs. I'm afraid that I'm rather stringent on my tariffs, you know. I'm afraid I cannot allow them to be unpaid. Why, my free port is available for everyone if only they would pay the tariffs, you know. So, um, yeah, here's what we're going to do is we're going to build a hangar capacity here in addition to a market. And uh, these Go guys ahead. are slowly getting the antimatter, and uh, apparently we lack some of the ability to exploit some planets. Desert's not among them. It's just, like, literally, you don't need a still suit. Just please have good water. All right, we're slowly building the technology to become a proper Space Empire team of cool people who aren't dumb all the time. I know that sounds very specific, but I'm autistic, so you're going to have to let that be. All right, here we go. Not enough resources. And then we're going to build another wonderful outpost of friendship and sales. Friendship and sales. Strong Tariffs, that's not fancy taxes. No, 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 no. That's a, it's, it's a, uh, a token. A, a token of trust and faith between trade and... They're going to pay me or I'm going to shoot their feet off. How's that sound? But don't worry, I'll make up for it. Because guess what? Guess what? Ox, you guys were super good in the ship battle. And you guys all showed up and did a super good job, even though it was really fucked up and janky. And you keep your head cool. And you are very nice. And you guys have been doing really great stuff with all the shit posting and art. And you've been following pretty much and 
the ethos and mindset and craziness and fun times that I laid down. So guess what, Ox? Guess what? You're getting one of those nods of respect. Don't expect, don't expect too many. You're getting one. Oxylvania. There you go. You have your own planet. Well, you will. Um, there's there's going to be some issues because their navy just showed up to repossess the planet with a ship dis designed to destroy it. Now, don't worry because guess what? I have a starbase that is in the wrong position to help defend at the moment. But we are rapidly building emergency facilities right now. So don't worry. That is the phrase that people use to drink to and usually signifies worry. But this ass clown has come all the way over here to fight my planet. And I'm going to tell you this much. I don't care how many times he burns it down. I will build more ox lands. I have plenty of fearless volunteers who will go down to the burning planet because free land is free land and life is boring otherwise. So we're going to chase this guy out of our territory. This lady is threatening us. Madam, have you heard of a GDP? Allow me to show you what it purchases. Pirates, now go enjoy them. While she's dealing with that, I'm going to uh, chase this guy down because if he's running into my territory to try to do something nasty, I'm going to tell you this much. It ain't going to work. I'm going to turn this into a blighted ferric oxide nitro hellscape of torment and industry because I know the ox would want it that way. All right, so we have these guys. Has become more profitable. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. He's like, pirates are no match for me. So why are you shitting your pants? Well, they, uh, uh. Oh, hey, look, that thing's back. He has brought it back. He brought the Dunov class back. Fuck yeah, let's throw down, bro. It's so rare to see someone with a navy willing to fight. Let us have a game. It is time to remove kneecaps. Oh, he left. I thought he wished a piece. Oh, he ran up back up here. Okay, cool. Oh dear. It appears my battle station is fully operational. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up. You landed on a starbase. What were you going to do? He brought two spaceships to a starbase fight. Interesting. He's trying to leave now. I don't think it's going to work. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's running. Oh, he's running. He doesn't like what's going on right now. He's trying to make a play for the planet. He's got his fleet bouncing between two worlds right now. And uh, that's fine. Because I'm going to move my colony frigate back to my homeworld, if he can even make it. They're running for him. I understand. I tried to war crime him earlier. Oh, shit. They're trying to take out Oxylvania. I must stand and defend. All right. Let's go ahead and put in some investments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a good fight back and forth. All right, so he's making a play for the front. My ship is almost fully repaired. All right, get back down here. We're going to fight him in that planet well. Let's make him sweat for it. Let's make him sweat like a whore in church. He wants to fight. He brought two whole capital ships. Let's make him use them. Actually... More efficient to spend them here. Stand by. More hangar capacity. So he's trying to grease my colony frigate, which has just jumped away. And it's about to be replaced in the same spot by a fucking battleship. Guten Abend, Zigaretten. Here we go. Let's play a game. So he is going to have a bad day. Uh, he's going to find out that there's a lot of shit in orbit that hurts him. 
and uh, it's made out of money, which he doesn't have. Now, he can destroy that battleship. I'm not worried. I have lots and lots of money. Yeah, I need a little bit more iron there. What do I need? Yep. We're going to go to 14 active squadrons in that starbase, which means anything that flies in is going to get kamikaze like crazy, and he's going to have a bad day. Oh, man, and you're right, Zalcyon. The Vasari Starbases, the Orculus. Oh, my God, what fun that thing is. It's, it's, they're horrifying. The Vasari Starbase will chase you down. It will chase you around the planet well. That's why it's scary. All right, let's go ahead and sell some of that metal. And let's go ahead and sell some of that. A little bit more. We're going to try to get the hangar capacity to be absolutely ridiculous. Because as soon as it is, I'm going to then upgrade the structural integrity of this thing and just make it unstoppable. But I want this to just blap anything that comes in with just fighter wave after fighter wave after fighter wave. Now, he's whittling my ship down. I know he is. But I'm doing my best to continue to contest the planet well. Oh, we are going to just bomb the shit out of this guy. The longer he stays in this planet, well, the worse it's going to be. Now, he, I can lose my capital ship. I'm not worried about that, but I want to pin him down. I need to force him to stay here while my fighter wings get more powerful. Oxylvania will be strong. I'm also going to build some more civilian infrastructure and stuff so people don't have to live in the dirt. Right? Alright, so we're barely holding. The ships are pretty toughly beat up. I'm going to bring him by my starbase. I'm going to make him fight for it. And I know we can jam them from getting them to, uh, well, preventing them from running. But I prefer them to be able to a little bit. Copy that, TACCOM. We're coming in hot. All right. I'm going to pull away a bit and let the Starbase's heavy guns help me out. Oh, yes. Oh, structural integrity, how sweet you are. So he's trying to run me down. However, my fighter wings are beating the shit out of him. And he's going to find out my starbase very tough. And no, you are not going to live in the trenches, young man. You're going to you're going to you're going to accept technology like an adult. Structure complete. You're going to you're going to embrace you're going to embrace the metric calendar. God, could you imagine that world? Imagine if that had imagine if that was the only thing that had stuck from metric was the metric calendar. If you want a trip, go look that up. It it's not it, it is not sanity provoking. It, you don't feel good looking at it. It feels bad. Welcome to the Battle of Oxylvania. Man, they are really getting their shit pushed in. This is bad. Oh, what a fight. Good day, Commander. I'm going to try to take out at least that guy. If I can take out both capital ships, that'll be astounding. Structure complete. All right, and stand by one capital ship down. Excellent. All right, I'm going to retreat with my other one. Looks like another faction has eaten it. All right, let's pull out and leave them to deal with the aftermath. Excellent. He's trying to chase. I don't think that's going to go well. 
Yeah, it looks like my boys are about to beat him the fuck up. He's having a bad time. He's going to lose probably both capital ships. Now we're going to turn and fight him. Give him what he wants. After fainting a little bit. And then we will have two capital ships under our belt. Oh dear. Oh no, it appears two capital ships shall be my prize this day. Ah, the Battle of Oxalvania has gone well. Flack, yes. Well, Easily done. there's their navy gone. Well done, boys. For that, I will give everyone a home. Not just the people I like. If you seek the unity's favor. It says I'm second overall as an empire. I am first in defenses and capital ships. And I am first in credits, but not in everything else. I'll be addressing this shortly. Through what we like to call absolute gross abuse of industrial powers, I'm going to turn this planet into cancer. And then we are going to make it so, so profitable. When you thought the destruction of Fern Gully was not enough, my God, you will watch me pave this world and turn it into profit. I promise this in the name of Gargonia. There's work to be done. Are you interested? Now, step one is to begin these free trade uh, ports because, all right, guys, we need to find something here on this fucking desert that's worth exporting. So you're going to need to do that like right fucking now. All right. So while we're working on that, which we surely have handled, which we surely have handled, we're not just fucking off, right? We surely have something here on desert planet that we can sell that is not rocks. Uh, lithium, maybe? We have to make... Let's make up a metal. They won't know. They won't know! It's, it, we'll just say it comes from here. Like, if it's from anywhere else, it's sparkling whatever. But if it's here, it's... You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, oil. Oil's great. It's led us to so many fun adventures. So, um, what we're going to do is just make a bunch of trade ports. And it looks like my cool Air Force here is really neat. And unlike Albania's, Air Force was for actual for sale. And not just pretend for sale, which was mean. Very, very mean. You know, I just... Oh! There's work to be done. Angel There's Angelus work to be points out something we could sell. Obviously. I, I forgot. We can sell what remains of the previous owners. The glass. Thank you. Thank you. We'll just have to rebrand it as something. Scream Sand. I know that technically you're supposed to be filling all these logistic spots with stuff, but I'm going to fill it with trade ports so I'll have all the money. Structure complete. Trade ports will allow me to break this game. I will put some into research, but not a lot. Military lab, and what are we up to? We are up to four lambs. Okay, we're getting there. We're not bad people. We're just, we're just making sure that our industrial waste isn't wasted. Uh, we we need to make sure that, of course, Good we're man, harvesting all parts of the buffalo here. You know, we we can't Easily just throw done. things away because we're bored of it. Ready I mean, I know you want to flush the goldfish, guys, but I mean. Yes, commander. You can't do that all the time. And I, I cannot express enough that you should not collect Trinitite for any reason. It, it's not It's not smart. I wouldn't do it. In fact, I, I believe at the tour they warn you. <laughs> They're like, don't pick anything up. And people are like, I'm going to be special. Don't do it. Nuclear rock. Not good. They go over that, but every year somebody's going to be, you know, there's always somebody. 
So we're going to set up the uh, Cargonian Broadcasting System, which is going to be 24-7. It's WBPL-76. That's, that's pretty much what we're doing, is WBPL-76. In orbit, in space, broadcasting, 24-7. And, and people are going to like it. Or, this guy set up a base on my porch. Well, I'll be... <sighs> Anyways, I gotta send my customer service team over there. And then I gotta go over there and handle it. I just gotta go over there and iron out our differences a little bit. Because they think, uh... You know. They thought they were clever. I disagree. So now that we've installed an ass load of industrial stuff in orbit, we need to fill space with more smoke. Oh, wait. Oh, they have a base here? Well, that's not acceptable. I should have built some defenses for these scientists or something. Hey, nerds, why don't you invent a life preserver? Because you're going to need it for space. All right, so we're going to... Wait. Yes. Pirate raids, huh? Sounds like something that happens to poor people. See, I'm just going to keep clicking this until I feel better. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No? Okay. I think they've had enough. And yes, Structure blueberry complete. fruit shake. I'm slowly taking my time with this game. I'm not playing aggressively. If I did, it would be boring. I wouldn't be able to talk, relax, unwind. I literally got off work, showered, Good ate very quickly, Patrick. and said, I better stream Tuesday or people will think I'm dead. Or YouTube will insist I am. So I'm finding this kind of like that post-work period where I'm sure everyone does it. You come home. If you work in a different place or if you work from home, you have that little moment of like separation where you're like, okay, work has ended. Now what? Usually, there's a search for food. Or just a moment of trying to figure out, like, what happened? Where did all the hours go? And why am I always, always so tired? Then you decide to make content because the expiration of those questions makes you uncomfortable. So, what we're doing is blowing things up. I think that about catches us up, Blueberry Fruit Shake. I'm sorry I'm not a little more further on, but as I said in the mod video, it is... An expression of pain. Let's see. What are we going to do? I'm going to need more money. Yes, that's a first. That's a first. And then we're going to send this uh, guy over there to just blow shit up. See, the scientists should have been inventing something smart like shields, but they didn't. So now they're going to eat space. Yeah, not so smart, are you now? Didn't think so. That's what happens when your whole navy blows up. Pretty lousy. Pretty lousy for whole navies to blow up, you know? Well, I'm going to continue making a happy little, uh... Happy little starboards. I'm going to continue, uh, continue, uh, expanding. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to give, uh, Ian, I'm going to give Terra Invicta some time. I want to see other modules for it. The core module of the game suggests that it is one of a few scenarios. So there is a modern warfare scenario, which is kind of interesting. But I want, nay, desperately need a War of the World scenario, either 1890s, circa... Thunder Child era, or 1938 by the radio broadcast era, I would favor either. I think that would be really interesting. But that's just me, somewhat antiquated. But uh, War Game Red Dragon probably in time. 
Uh, the thing that annoyed me was the last time I did War Game Red Dragon, YouTube insisted that that was political content because I talked about the uh, June struggle and everything else in 1987 as a basis of an understanding of the war game as posited because it's based on truth. It's an interesting what if, and uh, that's kind of fruit for thought. It's what might have possibly been something that could have happened. And that is frequently the basis for real-world war games. Um, and I am interested in a great number of those. And so I found that to be kind of an exploration. So I'm, I, it was really a shame. And someone's asking, am I eating or drinking? I am occasionally drinking a beverage. Occasionally in drinking a beverage. And any more Space Station 13? Yes. Yes. I play quite frequently. I record every episode, but if nothing interesting occurs or the time elapses and I don't have the time, unfortunately, to see something through or what have you, it goes into a Research bucket completed. that I don't air right away. And I usually pick through that for the Christmas dump to find some of the more funny isolated shenanigans that are worth showing, but the rest of it is just not much. Uh, yeah, I can see beverage. I can say beverage, it contains fluid, and by weight most of it is water. Uh, it is a it is a beverage. It is carbonated, and it is a brand. It contains no sugar. It's 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 uh, zero sugar, Dr Pepper. It is a beverage. Don't worry what kind of shirt I wear, or what size underwear I have. I assure you, I'm a human being and not an AI. But my preferences are momentary, and frequently my uh, loyalty to brands is passing. I find frequently enough, often enough, people will fuck up on a long enough timeline with any product. It is inevitable. Take a piss break? What do you mean? You don't just camel that shit? Also, notice, see that money up there? See how much money? I, you, I guess you can't. Hold on, let me show you how much money I have. So, I've just put several GDPs worth of money into this guy's bounty, so now it is actually uh, economically more feasible to shoot this guy in every regard than it is to acquire resources through normal means. This is why I like this game. It's really fun. Research complete. And I am thinking of doing some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, what I was thinking of doing is actually going through all of the really cool tutorials because the tutorials are all little design contests with very specific dates and times and some are fiendishly hard. But the campaigns are hilarious and I was thinking about sitting down at some point and writing out a fictionalized realish history of the campaign and using Hearts of Iron and that to tell two aspects of a war Planet and then to try to make some like fake but real but fake propaganda like fake real doors, you know, and uh, see where we go from there. Where's our, uh, ah oh, yeah, all right, our systems integration team is out there drilling them off that planet for existing because dumb and that's what they get. More trade ports, you say? Why, yes, yes, I think so. And yeah, when <clears throat> I have no thoughts towards Stalker, I've I I have friends who are huge diehards of the series. I'm I'm not. I played it, but it didn't grab me. And I know those same of my friends also enjoy Tarkov. They also enjoy a lot of different kind of games that I don't play, but I enjoy watching them play. They're just not for me, right? So. You may notice that we're just going to create ass loads of just trade because 
trade good and we're we're just going to have lots of trade and then we're going to convert the whole planet into industry now i wouldn't worry about the smog in the atmosphere because people smoke all the time now that it's not going away might be a problem but there was already dust on this planet and i think we're all adult enough to know that it's not you know, the end of the planet world, have a little smonk in the atmosphere, and that, hey, maybe the temperature went up 20C, sure. But, 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 I will say this, everyone has more money, and we can find more planets. Ah, the Dreadnought versus Modern Cruisers tutorial, Molly. Okay, I remember the solution. Tell me what you did, and I will tell you where I broke it. <laughs> However, the game has been patched since then, so it may not work. Um, I I had a bad solution. It was, it, it's not a Kobayashi Maru, like, oh, Kirk solved it by cheating. It's more like, Tex was dumb. <laughs> I'm pretty good at being dumb. Development finished. So, we're, yeah, I mean, you guys were talking about Stalker. I mean, look at look at it this way. Now everyone gets gas masks on that planet. And no one will come near this planet because it's nothing but a blight of weapons. And it's I'm going to fill it with uh, just ass loads of weapons emplacements and mines so that it looks like Gaty Prime. Which, for those of you who have not read Dune, shame on you. We have wiped out an enemy colony. Ah, good. I mean, terrible. Who would do such a thing? That's awful. Who? Oh no. Hey, pff, who? Who would do that? Fucking. Fucking awful. All right. So now that we have lots of weapons capacity. Uh, yeah. The issue is. The issue is when you try to do big gun it comes down to number of shells and it comes down to successive hits smaller more accurate guns with longer barrels and more of them you can just beat people to death oh a new colony showed up how fucking crazy is that we find things all the time in space i'm sure the previous owners moved on and left a note i'm not i'm not terribly concerned with what they have going on so I'm going to leave this planet as a standing flak tower, and I'm just going to invite people to have some capital fuck off. Flak tower is for friends. And you can have some flak tower if you want. All you have to do is fuck around, and you'll find that in Cargonian space, the ratio of fuck around to find out is, is square, and we guarantee it. So now that I'm putting all of these wonderful hangar defenses over here, you're just going to find a sea of fighters that boils out of anything that hits this planet well. And then it explodes. And Mech Warrior as a combined arms RTS would be interesting. Um, I would love to see more Mech Warrior games. I'd love to see more Battletech games in general. I, I would really, really like to see that. I, I'm not sure on all of what of the various legal issues there are surrounding or preventing uh, all of that. I've heard numerous people explain to me what they think their tank is, but I've never heard anyone say, hey, definitively, you know, everyone has their point of view of why that may or may not be possible. That being said, I, I, I really would like to see more. Um, I think Hairbrain Schemes Battletech is probably as close as we're going to get as a really good game for a long while. I don't know how many of you actually play the various uh, fan games, though. I mean, God, MechWarrior Living Legends is fantastic. Does it have some issues? Sure. But it's fantastic. The community is most welcoming, except for that one guy who thought I was the devil or something. I, I don't know. But every, everyone else was pretty nice. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to build some emergency facilities. And we're just going to... Insufficient credits? No. Nah. We're going we're gonna to just make sure that everyone has a nice hard hat or something. And I'm not worried about the impending pirate raid. Um, 
because I don't think anyone out there has any idea as to the amount of money I'm about to pour on them, should they decide that, indeed, they wished to uh, fuck around and or find out. And Farley, if you win the Mega Millions or anything like that, if any of you, if any of you win any vast amount of money, I'm going to give you some practical, deadly advice. Get an accountant. Get a lawyer. Don't forget to do those two things. Before you do anything, you're going to need to retain professionals who are going to prevent you from doing all the stupid things you will think of doing. And that way, by the end of the year, you may possess some of the money you were given. I have seen many family members and friends come into good fortune and piss it away because they did not retain the advice of reasonable professionals who, prevented, who would have prevented them from, from doing some very dumb things. Man, it appears that a lot of these uh, bad guys are just getting smashed. Various empires out there fighting for primacy. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow, man. Their space station blew up. They don't even know how to make a good space station. I tell you, the Cargonian way. We know how to make great space station. So I'm gonna sit here and slowly expand upon the wonderful, happy things I got. We're gonna hope to do a lot of really decent industry. And slowly build super weapons. But, I mean, it's a slow process to get good super weapons. They don't make them like they used to. Yeah, the station doesn't even have a gold floor. I mean, it, I, I heard they say they care about people, but how can you care about people if your cargo department doesn't have a gold floor? I mean, that's sending mixed messages. I'm, I'm not trying to tell people their business, but it, when it comes down to cargo departments, gold is a standard. Gold is a standard. You need to make sure people know that you mean business. And speaking of, I just found some competitors here with their own trade station selling knockoff goods, and I'm afraid it's time to, well, you're done. Aggressive bartering engaged. Let's see. You know, it's about, here we go. Just going to put another trade depot there. It's about Cargonia. It seems like their navy has given up on trying to fight uh, or exist. Probably because it has to go through this murder fortress to get out, uh, which is pretty baller. This is a nice planet, Oxylvania. Lots of weapons. Lots of weapons. All we gotta do is just break some kneecaps and, well, you know, uh, that, that should be probably enough. I think they'll get the message. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. We need to get some more uh, crystal sorting technology. Because as we all know, crystal sorting some big shit. All right. And here we go. Structure complete. Good times. And if you guys want to upvote or not, I'd appreciate the effort, but these days on YouTube, I'm just lucky you show up. So, appreciate it. Nothing of value has been found. Structure complete. I'm going to endeavor with my business here 
to uh, become the king of crystals as well. Meth or mineral, I don't care. It's, it's just a market. I'm not terribly worried about the market or the shape of the market. It's, it's just a market, and I'm going to get into it. We gotta cook. So, yeah. And then we just go ahead and go ahead and click that crystal right there. Just boop there. More research, more crystal, more money, more destruction, more burning, more fire. So next we do is the do, 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 do. what are the rocks doing? Don't worry about the rocks. Don't worry about the rocks. The rocks are not a problem. Surely, surely. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, I have not really even mobilized my military yet. Um, I'm just doing with a peacetime military farting around right now because I think that running a full-time military sounds incredibly expensive, and I'd rather not do it. I'd rather, in fact, not dedicate more than 5% of uh, my total spending in this game on defense. I'd, I'd rather, in fact, spend more of it on just improving my planets. I, I find that people forget to be a good space custodian of your, you know, space assets. You need to invest money in the right places. And, and that's, that's just not on, you know, giant militaries. I, I think we're going to build a very small but lethal fleet. I don't actually need a military budget. That's the best part of this. All I need to do is make money. It's very effective. Then we build another one. Ah, excellent. We're going to make the money now. Good day, Commander. Fire at will. Good times. It is now time to make the big money. Now the big infrastructure gets cheap. More roads, more drive fast. That's what it's all about, driving fast. Tom Tombadil himself told me. Why Tom himself told me. You know what? I will not associate with any vehicle Research that does complete. not haul ass. And by God, he doesn't. That's why he was probably one of the better mayors of the Black Pants Legion. Which is its own strange odyssey. I may tell all of those stories in time, but... Let's just say that the first Black Pants Legion mayoral debate was... Uh, so censored by YouTube, you can barely find it <laughs> because they said it was a hyper political event, even though it was fictional politics. Um, it's probably one of the harder to find videos on my channel. It's pretty great, though. We had a lot of fun making it. So it appears we're going to need to repossess a few planets. All right, there we go. Even more money. We're going to try to get our crystal yield incredibly high. All right, there we go. We're gonna take this ice planet. Oh, you need a cleaning rod for an M39? <laughs> Good luck. Get in line. Get in line. Oh, cool, ship build rate has increased. Neat, so we've got good times. Yeah, the first debates were, in fact, the birthplace of the WBPL76 logo. 
Uh, Cargonian Logistics is ensuring rapid freight delivery even in a war zone. Excellent. So we now have this, and where's my other boy here? We're gonna move this here. It's gonna be all right. Oh no, it looks like a time for another starbase, and then more stores, and then another starbase, and then more stores, and then another starbase, and then more stores, and then another starbase, and then more stores. Do you see a principal pattern here? They have my, well, they have meddled with the primal forces of nature. And I'm here to remind them of the economical powers of that balance. As you might know, or expect, it is tremendously, tremendously dangerous. And it allows me to fund super weapon programs. I haven't seen any other alien fleets, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. So I need to begin rapidly reinforcing my front and then proceeding with alien go bye bye forever program. Uh, which is going to be expensive, but probably great. Ah, see, capitalism can never end in an endless universe. You're right. The rate of expansion is theoretically infinite. Thank you. Why, yes. Our industries destroy many whales a day. How else do you think baby food is made? And people are like, what? Don't worry. Top hats all around. Your child will learn the greatest use of the abacus in school. Volcanic exploitation, Arctic exploitation. We're getting as soon as we get that, they're, they're, he's gonna grab that planet and freak out. But that's fine. We're we're gonna get Structure there. Complete. Ready and we've that. got a wonderful bit of civic research station getting nuked, burn them to the ground. Yes, yes. That's what they get for doing research that's not profitable. Who cares about polio anyways? Uh, where is... Ah, yes. More of that. Additional credits required. No. Want money now. Require money. We're going to have much. Because as soon as I start getting these resource increases... Oh, boy. We just need to finish the rest of the trade network. You know how it is. Yeah, strip malls, strip mining, you know. They're very alike. And as this plays out, I'm going to get another beverage, comma, different. Oh, pff, an impending pirate raid. One moment, pardon me. Thank you, I need to... M <laughs> Thank you, game. I'll be right back as you guys watch. Remember to upvote if you want, but only if you want. It is like throwing sand into a hurricane. It will not help against YouTube. I appreciate you guys for showing up. That effort actually does matter. I'll be right back. back and looks like we're burning people I switched to water but this water is different because it has fizzy bits in it which makes it somehow different helm all right what are we gonna do ah addictive consumerism that'll come in handy very soon All right, we're going to send this little guy over here, and we're going to beat this guy in the ass. 
because we're going to take his planet. We're just going to roll it up, put it in the pocket, walk away with it. It's going to be ours. Sorry, but it has to happen. The repo men are here. We have the money. And we're going to move on it. Now, soon we will also have this Arctic ice ball once we've melted parts of it a little bit. Just. Research complete. We had to convince the previous owners that their lease was up. They didn't want to, you know, uh, comply with our eviction Ready proceedings forward. despite them being perfectly lawful. And as you can see right now, the there's a mining dispute going on. Uh, over here, just a g general low-key disagreement over labor something or other and as as that's playing out uh I, th I think you'll find that there's a lot of great new business openings on this planet uh which is pretty all right this planet i cannot pronounce adelheid adel no chad is going to help me rename this planet oh they still make tang they also make, uh, God, um, Ovaltine, um, for those of you who grew up with that. You were either a Trix house, uh, you know, the Nesquik house, or you were a Ovaltine house. Ovaltine with tap water. Mm-mm-mm. My childhood. <laughs> uh, it, it's, you already have one Oxlandia. You're not getting another one. All right, Texaco. All right, you're named after the gas station. Planet Texaco. Good. Done. Good job. Good job, boys. Good job. Ah. I can rezone this whole planet for just massive amounts of housing so we can throw badass parties. Go ahead. All right, let's see. Nuclear smelting. We'll get there. All we got to do is wipe people out of our territory shouldn't be that hard insufficient metal no i don't think so sufficient metal now this auxiliary government unlock is probably one of the better ones cuz it prevents them from nuking the planet and just Research removing complete. you which is infuriating it's absolutely infuriating. It's why I always use it when I can. <laughs> They're like, I bl blew up your planet. I'm like, yep. They're like, I destroyed it. And I'm like, uh-huh. They're like, God damn it. And I'm like, yep. You've heard of government. Have you heard of shadow government? And they're like, damn it. Not again. So, we're slowly getting the build rate development and everything as we scour people from our civilization for daring to exist. And we are getting to where we want because now I will begin to bring out the big stick. Because we can now finally uh, afford the Ankelon. Which is more mobile space station than super capital ship, but, uh, you know... I think we should probably just make it and let the taxpayers scream about it. Unfortunately, it requires tactical slots. Here we go. Insufficient metal. That's not true. It's still... Mm, we're getting there. We're getting there in Titan Foundry. It is now time... To begin shitting on the enemy from the planet Farts. And by shitting on the enemy, I mean we're going to be using the, the, the death ship we're building. And it's, it's going to require some fleet logistics. I, I hate to say this. We're actually going to have to spend some of our precious GDP on not cocaine. We're going to have to spend about some of it once on some weapons. And then not worry about it. So let's not worry about things too terribly much. Now, I'm going to have to spend 9% of my total income on defense at this point. 
That is the first step, and I will endeavor to try not to make that permanent. Because, I, or rather, not permanent, but, uh... I'm not going to go beyond that if I can. I think that's too much of a burden, really, on my fair citizens and our precious economy. Don't worry, don't worry. Soon enough, things will be fine. I hope. And, um, yeah, well, well, it'll be all right. So auxiliary government there, and then what's that? That one's all full. Can't put one there, but that's fine. That's on the front lines. Uh-oh, another auxiliary government? Why, yes, I think we will have one. Research complete. Basic officer training complete. Let's see. Soon. Oh, the galaxy is undergoing an economic downturn. Hmm. Well, time to make things so expensive other people can't have them. There we go. All right, so I will just sit around and ply my trade as I try to figure out what I want. We're slowly building the means by which to construct megalopolis murder ships. I mean, this is really... This is very 40k construction. But yeah, we're gonna... We're just gonna have a good time. We're gonna sit around. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna cry. And then we're gonna glass a few planets. Just a few. Not too many. Just enough. We are slowly building up to the point where we can afford this fucking thing. And as soon as we can, I mean... Hmm. As you can see, the research is progressing quite well. And I'm afraid after that, I... Well, I have nothing more to say to them. <laughs> Other than goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to destroy them all. Research complete. Um, again, for those of you guys who uh, are just now tuning in. The Magistrata Mundanus has been wonderful, um, hearing everyone's reactions to it, all seeing everyone's wonderful shit posts and memes, um, all the stuff that's been sent to me. I really appreciate it. So thank you. Uh, that It's been awesome. Soon, Ankylon. Soon. It appears we're not making much in terms of metal. Which is fine, because we're making all the money. Is any more Landlord Super? Ah, uh, that's possible. Uh, you might see some in the Christmas dump. Um, I might actually sit down with, like, Mike and Goat and record a full, like, six-hour session of trying to figure the game out. And I might, I might even record that with, like, Goat playing live music or something. I think that might add some fun to it. So we're going to build the super weapon uh, before in anyone else has and effectively begin the dreadnought age of Sins of a Solar Empire, which is going to be very unpleasant for them um, because I will have the first one and then I will use it as my lever of oppression. And they're going to realize they made Research a complete. big mistake. Because this thing is pretty cool, uh, and we get to name it. So start thinking of badass ship names. Like this is our Death Star, guys. And unlike the super ships in Stellaris, this one actually does stuff. So let's 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 decide what to name. Like, come on, think about it. in Star Wars. You saw, oh, the Death Star. It's all right, but you could come up with like Battle Moon, Death Moon. The fear sphere. <laughs> um, I mean, there's a lot of options, right? I'm just thinking. Research complete. Schmeet. I don't like that. I think that's a terrible name. <laughs> the memes of production. I agree with this name. I think that's the best one. I will not use cromulent. I hate that. <laughs> ah, yes, how cromulent. Do this quickly if you seek the unity's favor. 
Cargonia has seized the memes of production. And we will, uh, you know, send it forward. The free market is also a really good name for it. Just, <laughs> they're like, what's killing you, the free market? The free market is destroying you. You have been destroyed by the... That's probably what we would name our standard missile. The free market destroyed a compound. And you're like, yes, it did. Yeah. The free market. <laughs> like, you know. All right, so we're building it. It is being built. The Titan is being built. It will take a bit. And everyone in the game just got a warning uh, that I'm doing this. So they're invited to try to stop me at any time. Considering that their navies are made of crap. Do this quickly if you seek the Unity's favor. Well. Additional credits required. Yes, more shields, more weapons. All right, let's see. Boop. More shield arrays. As soon as this thing is done, it's just going to start driving toward the navies. I I'm going to go destroy these guys over here because I don't know them. And frankly, they need to disappear. They're in my backyard. In space, that's too close. Hmm. Hmm. Bigger pews are, in fact, very important. Yes. And is this actually alive? Kapla. Yes, it is. In fact, it is. All right. Come on, super weapons. God, I know what it must have felt like while they were waiting for the Yamato. Just throwing a ball against the wall. Like, is it done yet? And they're like, no. Is it done yet? No. Ah, it appears the pirates have exercised all of the money. Which, believe it or not, means that someone has done that much damage to that guy to pay it off. So, we've contributed multiple GDPs of money to this guy just being shot constantly. It'd be like the equivalent of putting a, a bounty on someone internationally. Just being like, if you see this guy in public, kick him. We've been doing that a lot. All right, so expert damage control is going to be great. We're going to have a good time. We're going to be able to actually fix our ships and not have them blow up most of the time. Insufficient metal. Come on. All right, it's going to take some time for Arctic exploitation to take effect. Pirate raiders are on the loose. Oh, no, pirate raiders. The World War II Yamato or the anime Yamato? You assume that I've seen the anime Yamato. I've seen pictures of it. And I went, all right. That's as much as I know about it. I, I'm not an anime guy. I've had a lot of people try to show me anime. And I'm like, yep. It, I don't know why. It doesn't grab me. Research Maybe I haven't seen the good stuff yet. I don't know. So I'm going to need to bring some more freedom and metal. I need better metal. I need better metal. All right. The ankle on Titan. Research complete. Here we go. Soon. All right, where's my economic research? As soon as I can get this planet, the better. I've seen bits of Gundam. Doesn't grab me. I know that's going to make a lot of people downvote, but I think YouTube removed those, so I'm sorry. Uh, you'll just have to write a very sternly written letter, which I will get to. I'm about four months behind on answering my mail, because uh, I try to read all of it and then actually take the time to respond and takes a while. Um, 
But uh, yeah, it, that that's that's where that criticism would go. I'll get to it. Never watched Robotech, man. Not really. I mean, it it blows a lot of people's mind, but yeah, no, I'm I'm more of a Western robot guy, and the only Western robot thing I really know is BattleTech. Let's see. Soon, Titan. Soon. Research complete. Soon, Titan. Soon. 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 Ready to provide cover yes. For the fleet. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Screenshot. Wrong button. Fat fingered that one. Memes of production. Oh, wow. Uh, sorry. Um, I'm going to just call this uh, free market. Looks like the memes of production is too long. Sorry, guys. Research complete. We're going to just make its guns nasty. Give it some fighter cover. Our orders, Commander. And now... Through to the con. You're just going to go next door and go find some friends. I'll check in with you later. Have fun. Mommy loves you very much. All right, there you go. Go have fun. Don't kill nobody. Our orders, Commander. Here goes the free market. All right, the pre the free market is doing its job. We've got uh, hmm, uh soon. Soon we'll be able to take a planet over. That Arctic planet, and then we'll be able to finish our uh, shenanigans, shall we say. Shenanigans will be core part of this whole thing. Uh, I'm just going to fill this with fighters because it's funny. All right, there we go. Oh, wow, this still has the basic defense fleet. Well, uh, oops. That's not... Good. These poor people are about to face the free market. Oh, God. That's a flat cloud the size of a moon. Well, you fucked up now. Goodbye. Yep, that's what happens. That's what you get. Yep. Just gonna sit here and blow everyone up. That's what you get for showing up. Looks like that other guy is a navy. He's starting to show up with it. Which is unfortunate because I don't like that. I have a competing navy and its interest is not his interest. Which means he needs to fuck off with that. Navies don't like competing navies. In fact, they don't even like other divisions in their own navy. Favorite inner sphere of light. I can only see part of that because I have to wait till chat comes up. Sorry, one moment. And if it comes down to mech questions, I'm afraid that my input is... It changes based on the moment. I don't really have a favorite for all things. All right, let's go ahead and uh, increase the hangar capacity of all things. And then blow things up. Ooh, the frozen world could be called frozen asset. I like that. Research complete. A new colony has been founded. Yeah, no, it's it's gonna be called frozen assets. <laughs> yes. Frozen assets. And as far as Intersphere Light Mac, uh, probably the Irby. The humble, stupid thing as it is is way more practical than it has any right to be. For something useful outside of cities and very specific memes, I would say probably the Wolfhound. It can actually operate for a long amount of time. Pretty good management of most things. Hurts pretty well. I like Research it.
It appears that our Navy is next door just killing no the shit out of people. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh man. It appears that his Navy is not doing so well. So, uh, as my super weapon continues to blot out the sun, uh, we're going to just take another planet here. They said the planet's barren. I don't think that's very nice. I just think the planet has a lot of grim personality, you know? Oh, it's Mr. Train making a surprise appearance. Good evening, Mr. Train. How are you doing? Planet development finished. How? How's it going, Mr. Train? What's that? Time to 2 to 3 a.m. for no reason. I look forward to that. I sleep so much. <laughs> Be careless of me to continue sleeping so much. Thank you, Mr. Good Train. Day, Commander. So I'm going to go poke this guy down yes, here Commander. and see what no his uh, forces are about. If nothing else, if I lose this ship, I won't be terribly upset. Because I'll see where his stuff is and know what to nuke. Structure complete. And that's kind of important. Nuking things in space makes you feel good. It's not the most effective weapon system, but... It makes you feel good. It's fissile material, and you're making it do very exciting things. Finished. And that, my friends, is very important. So, uh, I am going to continue my uh, gamble of massive murder science, and then I'm going to focus on developing a few organic super weapons, uh, and then I'm going to eliminate everything that I can see with them. And I figure once I develop a few free-range organic super weapons, uh, all will be forgiven. Because no one argues with smoking craters, and I don't think that anyone's going to be around to argue with me. I, Yeah, I, I think, in fact, I'm going to win. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's go ahead and put some research stuff in there. Oh, it appears the Ankalon team found something. They found a new planet just laying around. That's fucking crazy, man. People just leaving planets around? Ugh. Planet what else might people find? What are we gonna do? Let's go ahead and put that there. And then we will proceed with Operation Pave the World. I'm going to join the free market up with my other ship, and we're going to go destroy this guy. It's going to be pretty cool. If people don't understand, I'm afraid I will force them to understand. Hardened Defense, Structure Twin complete. Fortresses, that's the one I want. That gives me all the stupid Starbase powers. Favorite Assault Max, the awesome, always will be. Played a little bit of Star Siege, not much though. Structure complete. So, we are going to hang out. Finished. Com -link active. And we're going to just go ahead and... Done. Poke into their territory never fail. and just get a pulse as to what they're up to. Just to see what, if anything, I can do to make their life a little harder. And I think that that would be fine. I just need to process the state of their, you know, um, government and make it not a government, which is easy because I have nukes. All right, now once we get all of our logistics up here, we should be able to... Uh-oh. Looks like they're starting to fight a culture war with us. Not today. I'm going to set this place up to play the sweet, sweet jazz of WBPL, and I'm going to push them away with a power of rock or something like it. I'm, I'm going to just complete. literally broadcast shit posts Body back and hope their government just doesn't understand them. 
information warfare in this game gets pretty nasty. They can they can do many bad things to you very quickly. Tom Link active. Looks like they got a fancy star base here. Not a fan of that, so I'm just gonna blow up their uh, research stations. While the free market shows up to do its business. E.g. remove impediments to my regime. Oh, an experimental weapon. An experimental weapon is being uh, created. Mm-hmm. How nice. Research complete. How very nice. I think that they'll find that this isn't going to work. Planet development finished. We're going to put social specialization into this. Intel reports an impending pirate raid. Oh dear, an impending pirate raid. Whatever will... I uh, don't care. We're going to put in emergency facilities in case uh, somebody drops a few dozen megatons on us. Because that's always awkward. But uh, yeah, uh, I think... Continual starbase uh, operations are going to make this happen. So far, it looks like I'm just burning stuff. Um, he's saying come out and face him head on. I believe that's what my navy is in the process of doing. Um, I'm bringing more ships to accelerate the processor. I ask you to be very patient with my conquest. I have autism. <laughs> See, I made that. Everyone hates it. All right. It's all right. You don't gotta love me. You just gotta hang out for a bit. Okay. Let's build another heavy constructor. We need additional star bases. Ah, YouTube. The porn bots return. Sometimes I wonder what happens to people who click on that shit. I hope they have a lot of really good IT support, though. I really do. So, uh, as we continue to exploit and destroy planets, as we must, uh, the growing pains or sins of the interstellar or, uh, empire. I think that's fair. So we're going to have some fun. As my free market shows up and decides to fix the problem. You know, it's almost like they don't have any defenses and they're not willing to beat me up. That's crazy. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm just casually dumping oceans of currency into people's uh, security issues. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and drive up. I'm going to blow a bunch of things up because one of the few things that can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fucking starbase is a titan. However, I will say the TEC Rebels Titan is certainly a bit better at cracking things. It, it in fact is really good at it. So we're gonna just put some more into amplified beam damage. We're gonna put some into this and that, and make our fighters a little better. Phase jump complete. Ready for and we're just gonna slowly burn them out of the system. It's good times. Now, even if I don't destroy the starbase, like if he starts to upgrade it to significantly add to its defenses, which he can do, it'll be fine. I'll pull back with more weapons and hit again. It appears he will lose everything. Ooh, 
Ooh, heavy Fallout. Ooh, Novalith prototypes. We're starting to get into super weapons, boys. Now, I know there's another Empire over there, and I don't like it. So I need to prepare my defenses to ensure that that other Empire out there isn't so scary. That he spooky, scary skeletons me's out of existence because it's another empire. I don't know what's there. It could be terrifying. It could be full of bees. It could be run by bees. It could be an empire of bees. You don't know. Space is huge. So we need to obviously uh, take some protocols to ensure that the enemy minds their own business, as it were. I don't know what all the buzz is about, but I'm just going to have to wing it. So, um, I regret all of those. I'm going to continue building Starbase stuff and hope you can forgive me for all of those in sequence. Uh, let's see, where are we going? Ah, yes. Broadsides with a Starbase. See, I brought a Starbase from home to fight your Starbase, and my Starbase is cooler. Also, fuck your whatever this is. Yeah, blow that up. Fire at will. Good times. Look at all this money we're gonna make. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and all the mods are fantastic for this. And I didn't really care for Endless Legend. I thought Endless Legend and Endless Space were kind of boring. I thought they were beautiful. They were gorgeous fucking games. Soundtrack was wonderful. Mechanics are where it just lost me. I'm like that with games. I'm weird. Don't think I have good taste. Please don't. Please don't. Our orders, Commander. By the way... We're making fantastic uh, progress. We're making fantastic progress on the Charger. Research and completed. we're probably going to be... Our second draft of the video should be done this week. And uh, we should be launching into a lot of other stuff. I'm hoping by light, late November. Um, and that's without killing anybody. That's, that's, that's not killing ourselves to do it. So, yeah. Just letting you guys know. Start spreading the news. Um, because YouTube sure won't. <laughs> I appreciate that. Our Titan shields have failed. Uh huh. You have a lot more. Don't act nervous. It's a super weapon. Please act like you work in a super weapon. Don't get antsy. Our Titan shields have failed. Yeah, I know. The hole is eight meters thick. Like, just relax. They could start mining it with a torch tomorrow. It would take a while to get through. Don't be scared. I mean, you it's a super weapon. If you work at the Death Star, you can't be like, they're attacking the Death Star. You're like, how would you know? How would you know? They'd have to they'd have to like send a guy down being like, hey, uh, eight miles up, somebody's shooting at something. And you're like, what? Oh cool, the Starbase blew up. Well, another success for the free market. And yes, the Battletech video for the Charger. That's the next one. And then after that will be the First Succession War, which will take forever to uh, put together. But that's all right. I'd love to, I'd love to, uh, we, well, we have something else as well being worked on at the same time. Um, Text Talk's history is uh, coming along. And I, I hope you guys are ready for it, because if you thought I went heavy on Text Talks Battletech, I go overkill on Text Talks history. It's... Your lack of commitment will not go unpunished. I agree. That's why you have to Research commit yourself completed. fully to what you do, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you regret. I mean, you're like, wow, I did something cheap instead of something good. And then you feel like a loser. So, yeah, thank you, lady. That's some pretty positive stuff you said there. Thank you. Your lack of commitment will not go unpunished. You need to work hard. This game still teaches me things. <laughs> I would not just recommend living by that. Uh, definitely. 
So now that I have all the things I need, I just need to do this Novalith deregulation thing. And um, at that point onward, I can just decide to destroy things at will, which is kind of neat. I just need to figure out where everyone is, Your which is... Ma'am, I already gave you praise. Do not go fishing for compliments. In fact, your your continual interruption, ma'am. All right, that's it. Additional research no, you started this, ma'am. You, you kept interrupting me. I was making an ass of myself, fair and square, and you came up and just kept saying lack of commitment. Well, you know what? I'm going to show you how committed I am. I'm going to go all in on super weapons. How's that? How's that? I mean, they started this fight. I, I have been trying to bring them the latest in customer service solutions as envisioned by the solution department of Beeple Industries. And uh, there's a bingo for somebody in the Ox, I think. Point me in the right direction. I've seen your bingo card. I think you need to make new ones. I like some of your choices, though. It's out there. I'll find it. What do you need to know? All right, so we're going to go ahead and just send these little it's frigates out. out find and it. they're going to go out there and just find all sorts of fun targets. And they're just going to skeet by. And the enemy's going to go, please, why have you done this? And I'm going to say, LOL. If it's out there, I'll find it. That's what I'm going to say. Right Everything is going to go out there and know? find new friends and introduce them to weapons. out there I'll find it now as these guys go around and find new applications for applied physics technology I'm gonna say this you know you fucked up in space when somebody has decided to apply the dark forest hypothesis for real so please don't think you're smart if you start seeing these things fly at you in space because well you've freaked someone out and they've decided it's probably for the best you don't exist anymore that being said, uh, my solution for the Dark Forest Hypothesis is anyways I started blasting. And uh, that is how we're going to get through this. All we need is a few dozen super weapons firing full bore all the time at everything they see the instant they see it. And then I suppose after that, uh, it's all about what fits in a bucket and what planet we want, right? It looks like the AI have been gobbling up each other. One AI player made a fairly tough play against me early on, but he miscalculated, and I I beat him up pretty bad. And since that point, it's just been the crying game. So it appears that I now have 44 logistics slots to fill. Hmm, what to fill them with? I don't know. Clusius, I hate the name of this planet. If it's your name is... There, your name it. is, uh, Kumquat? Yeah, there. Planet Kumquat. There. Everyone forgets what those are until someone makes a Kumquat joke, and they're like, That's a thing! There, and then they forget I'll about it, it again. Kumquat. Everyone remembers that joke from when they were eight. Anyways... Let's go ahead and just put up some more shitpost stations. Because they wanted to fight a culture war. And I'm going to beam the meme cannons out there. And, uh, yeah. It's going to be good times. Research complete. If it's out there, I'll find Coming it. to you live from Kumquat. It is the sound of all of the radios in space at once. And I'm just going to blast them with it. If they didn't want to get blasted, they shouldn't have built that planet there. But as you'll notice, my culture is starting to blast through their planets, and they're not liking it. And that's too bad, because I'm going to make my consumerism very, very addictive. I'm going to make them destroy their own culture with money. Yes. If it's out there... So this is a fairly big empire. Uh, I'll sort them out. 
fairly soon. What do all right, you need to know? all you guys, hey, get out Where there and go do stuff. Down? Go make me proud. Go find them. Research complete. Looking for something. Looking for something. God. Like, I know, just go blow your nose. If you're congested, don't come to work. What do you need I hate it when people do that. Turn their homeworld into McDonald's as punishment? Operation Pave the Cosmos. Yeah, I like it. Structure complete. Well, now it's time to make all the money. Do this quickly if you seek the unity's favor. But I don't, madam. I don't. Structure complete. I don't seek anybody's favor. I just want to grill for God's sake. But you've made me do this. Thus begin the end of your civilization. Ah, yes. Pervasive economy. Ah, the shitposting stations. Sending out the great shitposts of our era. A new colony has been founded. Ah, we found a new colony. This one's gonna be named, uh... Potato 2. No one's gonna know what happened to Potato Outward 1 because we're not gonna talk about it. True to the cause. I agree. True to the cause. Shoot everything. Alright, now we're gonna go down this way. We're just gonna go down this way and check out this other empire and see if these guys come back. Because if they do, I'll 180 on the defense, go up there and beat the shit out of them. It'll be real super festive. And I think it'll be even super duper duper fun. Now they're saying that my failure makes a poor impression. I think their continual Research threats uh, are, are, are of equally poor impression. And I would like to impress upon them uh, how Failure dumb they sound. So how's that? Yeah, that's why I shouldn't be in charge of diplomacy. So what we're going to do is we're going to build hangar defenses everywhere. Finished. And we're going to build uh, metal everywhere. And we're just going to wait until they don't understand what's going on. Then we will buy the nukes. Structure complete. Plotting jump coordinates. I tried a little bit of Valheim. Um, didn't grab me. I, I tried it a bit, and everyone was like, just, oh my god, isn't this the most amazing thing? And for me, for a bit, it was interesting, but it wasn't incredible. I wasn't getting the same effect other people were. I don't know. Um, some some games are like that, I guess. No further profit in attacking an empire. Have you tried attacking it for money? It's incredibly profitable. In fact, I'll pay you. Watch. There you go. See? Easy peasy. Well, it appears like another player came over here and decided to start taking his territory. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And it appears this guy down here has some culture things he's doing. I don't like that at all. They're trying to take over Oxylvania. And I, I'm not a fan of that. Now, I'm not a possessive person. I, I don't think that I own a community or an idea. But uh, I, I think that Structure taking my planets complete. is really not cool. So I'm going to proceed with the wholesale nuclear slaughter of their environment, their Planet atmosphere, their the moons, um, anywhere where they Planet might Planet congregate Planet. or breathe is going to be very hot very quickly and very routinely uncomfortable. Structure complete. I mean, I don't understand why they've decided to, to play these, these fuck fuck games with me, but I will tell them uh, the same morning I inform most people if you play dumb fuck games, if you drink deeply of the dumb fuck juice, your brain will become smooth, and you will become enfeebled. So, as they drink these draughts of foolishness, I will remind them that uh, railguns firing nuclear warheads are pretty cool, and we're going to just arrange for some deliveries.
I just need more more of these. It will be great. It will be okay. Yeah, no, okay, I'm gonna say this. On Kumquat, it's the sky is gonna be pretty bright on occasion. But you'll be known as the planet that built the super weapon. That's gonna that's like being known as the the place that has um six flags or you know Koyoga Lake or something like that. It's no enemy will get by us. You know, you'll you'll be remembered as those guys who who made that thing. Maybe not the nicest thing in the world, sure, sure. Maybe not a theme park. But I think it's something. Structure complete. Oh, I can absolutely turn autocast on those cannons. In fact, sir, it is my preferred methodology by which to dispense nuclear arbitrage in the intergalactic sense, which is just to allow them to do what they want. I will not constrain my gunner's opinions with suggestions of, well, targets. I think that they should be allowed to just do what they wish. You know, I, I, think, I think if they've gone to super weapon school and they've gotten a super weapon degree in super weapons, I, why should I tell them what to do? Right? I mean, I think that's unfair of me to tell them what to do. They know what they're doing. They're super weapon guys. I mean, they have a, they have a degree in it. I'm also scouring this guy's homeworld uh, because he built a carrier. How delightfully quaint. I instead went heavy into super weapons. Comsat has detected inbound hostiles. Oh my god, they're coming for Kumquat. See? It's funny. I know it sounds very silly, but it is it is funny as a <laughs> they're coming for Kumquat. Why does that make me giggle? Well, they know I have super weapons now, and it does appear that they are trying to come deal with that. Um it also appears that they've lost a lot of their fighters on the first pass, which is not so great. I'm going to add more bombers to this wing now. Um, he did bring a carrier. Unfortunately, it looks like the carrier is now out of fighters, uh, which, believe it or not, is necessary for aircraft carriers to function. Fighters are, uh, are quite necessary for carriers to function. Now, the other thing that's necessary for carriers to function is a cap, early detection, radar, and situational awareness, which... It looks like my guys are pretty much doing what they want in regards to this. Um, he's he's going to have a bad day. And he's going to get the weapon. Oh, please. Fire when ready, gentlemen. Do not let my limited imagination constrain your art. Oh, I agree. I think that shooting it over there would be a great idea. That seems to be where they're attacking from. What's this? Two Novalev cannons? It appears that he is now bringing multiple capital ships to try to attack this point. This is definitely a concentrated effort here, which is nice. It will not succeed, though. Ah, Novalev shells. Excellent. So as... You may notice these shells start to fly out. They're going to connect with planets, and the things that were on them will transform amazingly, instantly, into past tense. Instantly. Just fantastic amounts of past tense. Now, these guys are still giving me trouble, so I'm going to make sure the pirates and everyone else understands where to go. I think that ought to keep him busy for a while. It looks like they're about to intersect here. Well, that's the end of that planet. So I'm going to continue throwing rocks at them until I get tired. Our fleet is under attack. Oh, it appears that his battleships are not doing so great. Well, yes, the cannons are quite operational. 
It appears our fleet over here is just wrapping that up. Handling that, of course, which, as, as you will. We're going to explore the planets now. We're going to do some planetary exploration. We're going to show people where you can get all the fresh vanilla yes, and Commander. things you need, all that cinnamon and incense that makes the trade roads work. It appears that as well, I have lost a enormous amount of my frigates who have found where some of the enemy is. So we're going to have some weaponized you and what army here very shortly. Nothing of value has been found. Mmm, real gun. Now, as these continue to just throw shells at things because I don't like them and they're different than me, and, you know, by God, I, I, I think that they should feel the fury of a thousand suns every morning. Um, and I, I'm going to make that happen. I, I promised my people uh, fireworks. And I feel that a good leader um, that fails on a promise of fireworks is just really not welcome. Uh, in intergalactic rulership. If you promise to blow something up and you have spaceships and you don't blow something up, it's it's a letdown. And it's a letdown that will make the future generations not believe your sincerity. I, you know, they... They'll stop dreaming when they realize that you're not there to end stars like you promised you would. So you have to get up there and end those stars... You, you can't you can't pretend those children look up to you and they're gonna need some humanity fuck yeah in the near future you're gonna you're gonna need to be an adult here ah speaking of it looks like one of their ships is retired it's kind of cool um it looks like they have failed to do anything other than build a ship that looks like a lobster which is currently getting dive bombed by everything and dying oh and cool the porn bots are bad ah thank you you know, after being a guy on YouTube for a long time, it's it's just ni nice to see, like, open disrespect. As opposed to, like, pretending to like people. It, it, it's nice just to see that contrast. It's it's nice just to see the, the casual lack of care in managing online. They're just like, you know what we need? We need to make it easier for people to break people's computers with porn bots. Of all the troubles in this world, that seems to be the way forward. And thus we are here. Oh cool, I got a volcano planet. You know what would be really neat? Is if we could get the high ground. I think that'd be fun. Then we could cut people's legs off. It's required to get the high ground before you cut people's legs off, I'm told. But, uh, you know technicalities. Uh-oh, looks like Bellerophon, their planet's about to have a repo. And by that, I mean the atmosphere is about to get very hot very quickly. And that's what happens when you fuck around. So, bad luck to them, I guess. Let's go ahead and put some money into R&D, and let's try to make some fucking money. Intel reports an impending pirate raid. Yes, I know where they're going. I've paid all the pirates for all time to shoot the same man in the dick forever. It's tragic, but excellent. I I don't have time to monologue about Chosen Ones or anything. I, I'm just going to hope he gets the message when his legs leave. Um, and I'll just say, I'll hire somebody to write some copy of like my final encounter. I'll hire a bard to tell a more interesting story. I'll, I'll just be like... Yeah, so I cut his legs off, and they're like, oh, so you said he, uh, you had the high ground, and, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go with that, that's, that's what happened. There, nobody said fuck at any point, I'm sure. I'm sure in a fight like that, at no point, the Jedi would ever say fuck. At no point would the Jedi ever do that, at any point would they swear, because that would be uncouth, of course. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It looks like we are just going to have to bomb them out of this planet well. That's what happens when you don't build a navy. Someone else shows up with theirs and says, free? And they're right. They're right until you stop them. It's just free stuff. Hmm, if we remove the warning labels, things will sort themselves out in time. 
Imagine building two refineries. Imagine building three! Why would I do this? Why? Why? Because I can. Planet development finished. Is it foolish? Sure. But does it make me feel better? No. But do I do it? Every time. At least on one world. I don't know why. Time to specialize in industry. You thought this planet was hot now. Just wait until the lava's got toxins in it. We're going to turn this into a lava planet. It's going to be a lava planet now, but in time, it's going to be mad. It, that's just going to be all slag. It's just going to be runoff. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. We're shooting super weapons around, which is fine. But so far, I have in myself a really nice trade empire. I am first in economy, third in military ranking overall, and three in empire ranking. However, as it's been about almost three hours since the stream started, and this is not my full-time profession, and I have a day job, which thankfully allows me to do these things, I think about here is where I'm probably, probably going to start wrapping this stream up. So I want to say to you guys... Thanks for choosing me. Thanks for showing up on a Tuesday night. Thanks for keeping the faith. And thanks for hanging out. The charger will be sooner than you think. And so far, it is very majestic. It's really good. It has no right to be as good as it's going to be. And that's only possible because of people like you. So, again, I deeply appreciate it. If you want, go raid WBPL76 over on Twitch. There's 500 of you. If you all show up Hostile at the same time and say, Tech said to say hi, I think that would be hilarious. But thank you all for showing up. I do appreciate it. It's a Tuesday night, and the fact that I can have 500 folks show up and help me shoot the shit while I casually throw I nuclear know, weapons and sound it. like a fucked up P.T. Barnum, it means something, so... Appreciate it. Thank you to all my team, all my people, and thank you all again for showing up. Next time? Well, I won't be here next week, but you'll see. Go to WBPL76. Go give them some shit. You'll see. And more Magistrata Mundana soon, boys. Stay tuned. Soon enough, well... Let's just say they found out a way to kill the most people in any game I have ever run in one go. Structure complete. That's right, Mr. Train. It's time to go the fuck home. Stay safe, folks.